Welcome everyone, I'm Stream Setup Hub. Have you wondered which Cody method reigns supreme in 2025? I have thoroughly tested multiple setups and am here to show you the method for the best build. You can explore my Cody playlist to see the full journey of my builds thus far. Join me on this journey as I reveal the fastest and most reliable method, step by step. Be sure to check my channel for additional tutorials on Unlinked, Live TV, and more, all with different strengths. You will find all the details and a special VPN offer in the description. Let us begin. From the home screen, go to Settings, then My Fire TV, and select About. Highlight your device name and press the center button seven times. You'll see the text, you are now a developer at the bottom of your screen. This doesn't break your warranty, it just opens the door for full customization. Coming up, I'll showcase the app that gives you access to everything you want, so watch till the end of the video. Now we'll get Downloader, a simple tool to install content from outside the App Store. Click the search icon on the home screen, type Downloader, and install the orange app with the white arrow. Now we're adjusting two key settings that make installing custom apps smoother and safer. Head back into Settings, go to My Fire TV, and open Developer Options. You'll see two switches to change. First, Apps from Unknown Sources. Select it and turn it on just for downloader. Second, flip ADB Debugging to On. This reduces install issues and helps everything run cleaner. These settings give you full control meaning you decide what gets installed. Now we've completed this step, it's time to install Kodi, the media player that powers everything we'll stream. Open Downloader, click Allow for Permissions, and select the URL field. Now it's time to enter the short URL on screen. I've supplied you with an alternate code on screen just in case you have any problems. Check the URL is correct, then click Go. Once the site loads, go to the top right and click the icon. Select Downloads, then make sure to press Android. Then click the 32-bit version. This is very important. Hit Install, then when the pop-up appears, click Done. Delete the install file when prompted as this file isn't needed and takes up unnecessary space. Now that we have progressed, let us ensure your Kodi streams remain secure. Internet service providers are tracking activities in 2025, throttling speeds, or blocking add-ons. I place my trust in IPVanish for its robust encryption, impressive speed, and the ability to unblock Kodi add-ons to gain access to a larger library. Please download it from the Firestick App Store, set up your account on your phone first, and then log in on your device. Take advantage of an 83% discount today by using the link provided in the description. I should mention that I may earn a commission from this, though it will cost you nothing extra, and it helps support this channel so I can continue to be your go-to streaming channel. We are getting closer to finishing the build, so please stay with me. Let us take a moment to compare the Kodi setups I have tested. Among them, the most current setup I use is the Diggs Xenon build, and I find it to be exceptionally good for its performance and reliability. What sets the Diggs Xenon build apart is that you can choose from multiple add-ons, which represents a significant advantage. If any add-on stops working, you can easily switch to another without hassle. I've tested setups that looked great at first, but broke within days. This one's held up week after week. That's why this is the build I'm showing you in this video. I am always open to exploring new builds, and I aim to educate people in the easiest ways to set up streaming on their Fire Sticks. Please subscribe, as I will always be uploading the most current setups, and if you encounter any issues, I will always be here to help. Share your setup struggles below. We are almost at the ultimate choice, so let us proceed with excitement. Now we're secure. We need to fine tune Kodi so it can run builds and custom content. First, open Kodi.
click the gear icon at the top of the page, which takes us into settings. Go to system and go down to select add-ons. Turn on unknown sources, select yes when the pop-up appears. Then once completed, press the down arrow once and switch the setting from official repositories to any repositories. This step unlocks access to a full streaming library. Now let's make the final move to turn Kodi into your streaming hub. First, let's leave settings and go to file manager. Click add source and select none or just press the center button again. Enter the source URL exactly as shown on screen. Please pause the video now if you need more time. Now check it over. When ready, press OK. You'll have to do it twice to confirm the URL. Back out and select Add-ons. Then go down to the option Install from Zip File. Pick the repo source you just added and then select the Zip File repository. It'll install pretty fast. Once it's completed, select Install from Repository. Press the one we just downloaded. Go down to Program Add-ons. Select the same repository file named Wizard and then hit install. Wait a moment for it to install. Now let us configure the Dig Xenon AIO build. Select account viewer, navigate right and choose okay. Wait for the add-on to install. This is confirmed to work when the blue screen appears. Once installed, select close. When a pop-up appears, select yes to proceed. Navigate the build menu to select your preferred build. I recommend the Diggs AIO Debrad build, listed at the top, as it is current and Firestick friendly, requiring no mouse. Select your build and when the pop-up appears, choose Continue. Wait for the build to download. Once complete, select OK on the pop-up to close Cody, reopen Cody to load the build. We are almost done. Next, we will set up the add-ons. In the Diggs Xenon AIO build, you can access a wide range of add-ons for TV shows and movies. Bookmark this page to easily switch add-ons later if one becomes unreliable. My preference is the Xenon add-on for its stability and performance. Navigate to your chosen add-on, press the down button on your remote, and select the button to apply the add-on. There it is. After evaluating multiple methods, this new Kodi setup emerges as the fastest and most reliable for 2025 building on the strengths of options from the Diggs build. Make the switch now to enjoy a superior streaming experience. You can explore more setups in my Kodi playlist. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you want a more informative video on the different add-ons in the Diggs build. To protect your streams, I recommend IP Vanish, which offers excellent encryption, high speed, and global access. Set it up on your phone first and log in to take advantage of an 83% discount through the description link right now. Do not forget to check my channel for additional tutorials as they show different methods that work even better than Cody. Pin the VPN link in the comments and share this video with fellow Cody enthusiasts. You will find all the necessary links in the description. If this video helps you out, consider sharing it. Someone else is probably stuck with a broken build right now. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.